Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Marla Yusuf. We begin with your business update, sponsored by the NAB Show, where content comes to life. Get your tickets at nabshow.com. Two high-profile retailers are set to open up shop in downtown Summerlin. Signs on some storefronts at the Summerlin Retail Complex state that a Chanel Fragrance and Beauty Boutique is expected to open in the fall and a Lego store will open in late spring. Whether you're a Las Vegas local or a frequent visitor, there are probably some facts you may not know about local gaming, like which resort has the biggest casino. Review Journal Cynthia Puga explains. And let me just start by saying I took a wild guess myself and did not get it correct. We have a list of the top three resorts with the biggest casinos based on square footage dedicated to gaming. Now, according to a 2023 report from the Nevada Gaming Control Board, coming in at number three is MGM Grand with over 156,000 square feet allotted to gaming. Sunset Station comes in at number two with close to 164,000 square feet. And coming in at number one is Win Las Vegas, which includes Encore, with over 191,000 square feet of gaming. Now, if we take a look at the Las Vegas area casinos ranked by the number of slot machines, that's a lot different. As of 2023, the top Clark County casinos with the most slot machines are Red Rock, Durango, Venetian. But if we take a look at who's last place on this list, that would be the Wynn and Encore Hotels with 1,700 slot machines. Interest rates are the highest they've been since before the Great Recession. Here's a deeper look at why. So mortgage rates are the highest they've been in a very long time right now, and the U.S. economy appears as if it might be turning towards the negative. We may be potentially heading towards a recession. Whether or not that will directly impact mortgage rates right away remains to be seen. However, right now they remain elevated and the average Las Vegas resident cannot afford one. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. It's another beautiful night in the Las Vegas Valley. Temps are moving down to the low 70s and even reaching the 60s around midnight. Wednesday is going to be mostly sunny with temps in the low 90s during the day, then going to the mid 60s in the evening. Thursday will be very similar, but with a few clouds in the sky, Friday and Saturday are mostly sunny as well, also in the low 90s. We've got some more 90s in the near future, but temps will go back down to the 80s next week. Now for Top Story, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. One of the 18-year-old twin brothers accused in a firework attack at an LDS church in Henderson reportedly told investigators that he did so because he, quote, thought it would be fun. As of Tuesday, jail records show Caden and Connor Renard were still booked at the Henderson Detention Center with bail set at nearly $1 million. O.J. Simpson's longtime lawyer and executor says he's going back on his previous comments about Ron Goldman's family getting nothing from Simpson's estate. Attorney Malcolm Laverne told the Review Journal, quote, I'm walking back those remarks and I will deal with Fred Goldman's claim in accordance with Nevada law. Laverne previously told the RJ he would fight to prevent the payout of a $33.5 million judgment to the families of Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ron Goldman. A 100,000-square-foot retail center is coming to Henderson in the summer of 2025. The cliff is replacing an aging office building in Green Valley Ranch. The design has been revealed for the open-air retail center on Paseo Verde Parkway near St. Rose Parkway. The $30 million redevelopment will feature outdoor dining, shopping, health and wellness stores. County commissioners unanimously passed an ordinance for licensing sidewalk food vendors. The ordinance comes with strict rules. Vendors will be required to obtain a license from the county and pay an annual license fee of $150. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. 
The Las Vegas Aces picked up four players in the WNBA draft on Monday night as they seek to win their third straight championship this season. They selected Syracuse guard DeAsia Fair, 16th overall, Iowa's Kate Martin at 18, Virginia Tech center Elizabeth Kitley at 24, and Jackson State center Angel Jackson in the third round. General manager Natalie Williams said she felt the Aces hit the jackpot with their draft picks. She did not expect Fair or Kitley to be available when the Aces selected them. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Baby's Bounty, a nonprofit providing diapers to the Southern Nevada community, is expanding as it moves into a larger headquarters. The Baby's Bounty Center for Families building will open April 29th on West Reno Avenue. The organization says the larger space will allow it to better serve the community and improve services offered, like programs, supplies, and education. Just last year, the nonprofit says it distributed over 1.5 million diapers. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NBA play-in tournament tips off today with a Western Conference doubleheader. The Pelicans are one-point home favorites over the Lakers at Westgate Superbook, and the total is 224.5. The Warriors are two-and-a-half-point road favorites over the Kings, and the total is 224. The Eastern Conference doubleheader is Wednesday. The Bulls are three-point home favorites over the Hawks, and the total is 220.5. The 76ers are four and a half point home favorites over the Heat, and the total is 207 and a half. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Atomic Golf, now open next to the Strat. An Italian American restaurant is planning to open in May at Illumina on Raiders Way in West Henderson. The menu at Lexi's Bistro will have local produce, sustainable seafood, prime grass fed beef, and imported Italian goods. The restaurant will also offer a terrace with pool views. And Dragon Link slot machines continue to burn fire at Caesars Palace. A lucky player won four jackpots worth over $536,000 in a three-hour span on Saturday. In entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. The top-selling R&B group of all time is returning to Las Vegas in August. Boys to Men will be back for four shows at the Cosmopolitan, and Robin Thicke will be the special guest. And comedian Kevin Hart is back at Resorts World Theater in July with his new show, Acting My Age. Tickets go on sale Friday at AXS.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7, and remember to subscribe to Review Journal's YouTube channel for all the great content and Las Vegas breaking news streaming live. We'll see you tomorrow morning for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.